Right, and how are those new displays coming? Is that... Cynthia, you cannot be serious. Is that truly what you mean to have me display for our clients? That monstrosity. It's hideous. That pattern. That fabric with those shoes and that belt. Ugh. Now do it again. I don't care how long you spent on it. Clearly you did it with your eyes closed. Do it again. Or would you like for me to give it to Bridget? Hmm. You get one more shot. Right. You better do it quickly. I need that display before tomorrow's end. I'm sorry, can I help you? Do you have an appointment? A card. <laughs> sure, I'll take a look. I see. You know, when I gave my sister that card for completing some artwork for the shop, I thought she would use it for herself, not... Why did she give it to you? Her muse. Well, at least this way I don't have to design a turtleneck, I suppose. Hmm. Anything you want, then. <sighs> this is going to be a long day. Um. Yes, take over the front for me, please. Yes, I have other things to attend to. I might be a while. Well. I suppose first thing is first. Have you ever had anything bespoke? I wouldn't imagine you had. <sighs> so you've never been here before. You've never had your measurements taken. Naturally. Well. We'll start there. Get your measurements down. Get an idea of what... piece of... fashion... you deem appropriate. Hmm. I do hope you won't have me design something truly garish, but my hopes are not high. Right then, first things first, name. You really should get that change, it doesn't suit you at all. Height. Right, take two inches off of that. Wait. There's no point in lying to me, I'm about to get your measurements anyway. Alright, let me just... General complexion... You have... 
shockingly good skin tone and texture. I'll be getting closer to you in and out, probably touching a person. I hope that's all right. Good. <laughs> skin tone is near perfection. With that, any color you wanted could do. Is that your natural hair color? Hmm. No, I just... It's quite lovely. I'm just surprised as all. Not wearing any contacts. Hmm. Are you sure? I mean, your eyes are so vibrant. It's hard to believe. Fine. I'd say almost, um, between those two shades, yes. Yes, we take every small detail into account here. Well, if I'm going to make something bespoke for you, I want it to look incredible. Skin tone, hair color, eye color, they matter. Would you describe yourself as athletic? Day to day, what do you do with yourself? Well, I mean, do you work? What's your employment? If so, fascinating. Would not have picked you for that. Again, it's important. This is more than just a suit. This is an extension of your being. I wanted to fit every aspect of you. Of course, it doesn't have to be a suit. I just... The suits are the easiest thing to measure for. If you want something flouncier, flowier, of course we can do that. This is a bespoke piece. We'll custom fit it to you. Make it however you want. Must say, though, I do think a suit would look dashing. Personally, I think suits look phenomenal on everyone, as long as you do it right. So many people don't understand the true power of a good suit, you know? Something tells me you might... As alarming as that is. <laughs> You're sure you haven't had something custom made before? No, just the way you... It's in the way you hold yourself. You act as though you... You've done this all your life. It's... Shocking, to be frank. Alright.
That should do for now. All right, ready for some measurements? Good. Like we've established, you've never done this before, yes? I would expect not. So we'll be taking standard suit measurements, and then we'll be looking at some fabrics for you. Seeing where you want to go from there, then we'll throw some mock-ups together, I'll send them your way, I'll get your email as well, actually, what is that? Yahoo. You should really update that. It's tacky. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll make Bridget deal with that. You'll get an email from Bridget once we have the mock-ups to approve or disprove. Understood? Lovely. So. Like I was saying, we will get your standard suit measurements, your shoulder to shoulder, width of your chest, we'll get shoulder to wrist, neck to thumb, neck, bicep, wrist, and a few extras, should you wish to have some add-ons. How does that sound? Good. Alright, well, let me get my measurement device out. Do you have any questions for me before I continue? <laughs> I would expect not. You're so in over your head, darling. It's alright. It's alright. We'll take care of you, that's what we do here. Take care of almost anyone who walks through. But between you and me, I do I do like to keep a particular standard of clientele. Alright, set that down. Get this. Cynthia. Cynthia, darling, where on earth did you put my measuring tape? I told you to stop touching it. It was supposed to be right here. Yes. Thank you. Stop taking it. Get your own. All right. Just set this on this table next to me here. All right. Very still, like I mentioned. Shoulder to shoulder. Yes, if you could please just stand with your shoulders back, but nothing, nothing odd, nothing weird. Don't extend them or anything. All right. Mm -hmm. I see. No, no slouching. I said stand up straight. No, you don't. You don't puff out your chest. You just. Good lord, this is going to take forever. All right. Yes, just like that. Thank you. Lovely. It is an impressive shoulder measurement, I must admit. Alright, widest part of your chest. Go ahead and give me a nice deep inhale. Now let it out. Good. Like I mentioned, do not puff out your chest. If you ruin my measurements by giving me some sort of false impression, I will be very cross. Right. Just like that. Very good. Hold still. Just place that there. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. An impressive number. Hmm. Lovely. Shoulder to wrist. Keep your arm straight down. No flexing, please. I'm just going to place this right here. Right on your shoulder, and then get that down to your wrist. Very good. 
They do hold quite still, it's rather impressive. Mm. I suppose if you're used to being an art model, that makes sense. How long have you been modeling for my sister? That's relatively recent. Oh, oh, you're the one she won't shut up about, I see. That. I suppose I could see it. I expected you to be more... I don't know... plain. Well, she and I differ in our tastes greatly, but... I must say she might have gotten it right for once with you. For once, anyway. Can't let it go to her head. Or yours. Right. Right then, other side. Same thing. Right, up there on top of your shoulder, down to your wrist. Down to the wrist, hold still. Just where the cuff would hit. And then you have it moved, correct? Good. You wouldn't want to get that measurement off. Those measurements are perfectly, absolutely perfectly symmetrical. What on earth? Usually, an individual has a slight imperfection between their arms, but yours... Yours are immaculate. Hmm. Right then. Continue to hold still for me. I'm going to get from your neck to your thumb. So just right. In there. Very good. Yes, all the way to the thumb. Thank you. Chin up, please. Good. I want you all to see what I'm doing. Very good. All right. I must admit, you do have an exquisite form. All right, neck, chin up. No, dear, not that far. Here, okay. right there. Thank you. All right, so we're going to take this. I'm going to put it around your head now. Just like so. And then take it and slide it into here. Just like that. And then slowly cinch it in, alright? Very good. Let me know if it's too tight. Although I doubt it will be. I am the best of the best. Snug but not restricting, correct? Good. That's all I want to see. Perfect. Then I just slide that out like this. Check the number. Fascinating. Utterly fascinating. <laughs> okay. Biceps now, please. No, no, keep your arms down. Same thing. I will wrap it around like so, slide it into here, and then I will cinch it to you. Good. Okay. Keep your arm down. Do not tense it. Very good. 
And I'll say you have one of the easier individuals to measure today, which is unexpected. Lovely. Left. Nice. Good. On to the right. My right, not your right. Cinch that nicely there. You're not flexing, right? Hmm. No, it's nothing. I just... That is... Quite a nice bicep measurement, that's all. Okay. your wrist for me, please. Either one doesn't matter, I'll get both. Thank you. Same thing. Mm -hmm. Very good. Other one. What, Cynthia, dear? No, I'm... I don't need your help with this one, thank you. Well, that's because they're my client. No, you know I don't share clients. Alright, yes. Work on that display, please. No, I won't be sharing this one. At all. I think we'll be doing something particularly special for them. Hush now, run along. Alright, that is wrist measurement then. What? No, she's just surprised us all. Well, because I tend to handle our more esteemed clients, you know, the, the ones that have been here for years and years and years getting many bespoke pieces. I don't take new clients frequently. Well, I'm taking your case because... I figure it would be an inconvenience to my employees to take something that my sister sent over. That's all. Anyway, that's that wrist done. Perfect. Hmm. Let me get around your waist. It's not typically something that you take for a suit, but don't know what we're making for you, do we? I want to have all my options available. I'm going to reach around you if that's all right. Good. All right, same thing. Connecting it and cinching it in. Mm -hmm. Breathe normally, please. Very good. Alright, that feels good around the back. Nothing's wound up perfect. <sighs> Truly, your numbers are mine. Right then. I do believe that's all the measurements I need for now. If I need any others, I'll let you know, but... That should do it. Let's look at some textiles for you, shall we? Mm. 
Bridget, where are my textiles? I swear this is good. I'll be right back. I swear these girls can't put anything back. Apologies for the interruption. It just... They keep borrowing my fabric swatches and not returning them to where they belong. So, I apologize if there are any fuzzies or anything less than perfect on these. Do you have anything in particular you're thinking of? I see. Well, how about I just show you the basics? We'll mainly focus on fabric, texture, and weight today, but if you see a color you absolutely adore, we can go with that as well, all right? Good. So, where should we start? Let's start with the basic black. So, a good classic. This is just a lightweight material. Quite frankly, you could pull it off quite well. This would be anything from the lining to the suit itself. Mm -hmm. Or something a little more sophisticated, should you wish. Same lightweight material, but with some sheen, some lines to it. Something of interest. Should you be Getting your photo taken, I don't know. Getting your portrait painted, I don't know what she does with you over there. Mm -hmm. Like I said, basics today. You like the sheen, good, good to know. Moving on from there, we have is it going to be a bit heavier? A few different options here. This is for more if you're looking at a lightly spotted piece, you know. Mm -hmm. Performance grade. Excellent for suits. Very durable. Typically a winter material, more than anything, a little heavier with it. These two, they do come in plaid options, but again we're focusing on the material, material not the, um, not the pattern today. Mm -hmm. Yes, again a little bit more heavy than those first two options. Excellent for jackets, skirts, pants. Mm. Okay. Most people can't pull it off, but I think... I think you could. We have some rich velvet options. I would not... I wouldn't normally show clients because it takes a particular kind of individual to do it well. But we do have a burnt orange option. Oh, that looks divine on you. Oh my goodness. That is exquisite. Really a marvel. <laughs> and then a black option as well in the velvet. Typically this material is too rich, too heavy, but you... You shine. How strange. I would highly encourage the velvet if I were you. Your piece. Right, so after the velvet, we have 
these. Again, heavier fabrics, but where they would weigh most people down, I think you could carry them quite well, should you wish it. Oh yes, feel free to touch them. I'm the highest of quality, I assure you. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so we can make just about anything with this. If you wanted something flowier and flouncier, we would have to go with a different alternative, but... Mm -hmm. yes, this one's a little more felt-like. This one's softer. A discerning eye. Alright. After that, let's do... Mm. Should you wish for stripes? We have a few stripe options. A nice white with a navy stripe. Mm -hmm. Lightweight linen material, of course. White with grey. And a dark blue navy with a white. Mm -hmm. Yes, these would be more for summer pieces, but you could certainly get away with the darker one for winter or fall. Mm. Precisely. Yes, of course. Of course, go ahead, feel them. You could do vertical or horizontal. I would recommend vertical for these, but... You know, if you want to play some, some risks, who am I to tell you? Thoughts so far? Alright. Very astute of you. Okay, we just have a few left. Right. After that, we have again some lighter materials. This one. Not a lighter one, but it is controversial if you want to go that route. Denim. I've seen it done. You do have to be a specific kind of person who's probably willing to not take themselves too seriously. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Understood. Now these options here, these are going to be your staples, your basics. Lighter weight, but they do have a nice hat pattern within them. So we have a nice navy here. You can see what I mean by it being lightweight, but still, there is an interest in pattern there. Precisely. So we've got the navy, and then a nice neutral grey. But I think... Yes, that could suit your colours quite well. Yeah, some people can only do certain shades, but I think you could do a one or a cool grey. Mm -hmm. And then after that we have... This is somewhat of a tie between a navy and a cream. See, when you have it on its own, it looks a little grey. Or navy, a grey. Goodness. It looks a little more grey on its own, but then you put the grey up next to it, and suddenly those cream tones. Precisely. Yes. So, again, very lightweight. This one is a little more robust of a material than the others that are lighter weight. It doesn't have as much of a pull or a stretch, so if you wanted something that allowed for movement, this might not be the one. Mm -hmm. After that one, Similar in heft, with a little more give, but not quite too much. The white is a little more giving than the purple, but of course feel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright. I think that's an excellent decision. 
quite frankly shocked. One more, it's the last thing we'll show you today and then we'll get you on your way, okay? Should you wish for some detail work, do you have a fine selection of leathers to choose from? Now we have many other shades, but these are just the ones that Bridget found for me. I've got a nice camel that you could work with. A nice dark brown, a nice black, you know, the standards. This is just to get an idea of what you prefer. Precisely. Yes, if you wanted something trimmed, or some extra piece, or you could do a full leather piece, that'd be fine too. Mm. Understood. And let's do the observation. Right, let me write down some of the things you mentioned. Okay, so fabric selection wise, which stood out the most? And what was the reason for that? Any preference on colours that you know of yet? That's fine, that's fine. Um, any preference on style type? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you would want that on the... I see. That's enough for now. I will get all these notes into my system. Get a few things marked up for you, send you the details, and we'll go from there. Well, it wasn't... It wasn't absolutely terrible working with you today, so I appreciate that. Yes. You'll be hearing from me, I assure you. Right. Enjoy the rest of your day. Feel free to swing by any time. Right. Now you're free to go. Yes, Cynthia. No. No, they will be solely my client. You are not to touch them. I think it's going to be fabulous. <laughs>